I want to I want to know because again I'm I'm a former unapologetic Joe Budden podcast fan. I jumped off of it and I'm not a fan anymore because of how he treated Rory and Moore. I took that shit personally because like an idiot and like a real fan, I was really invested in that podcast. I loved it. I listened to it all the time. It got me through some hard, hard times, especially back in the day when I was working terrible jobs and I wanted to just zone out and not be present. I'd put the flipping podcast on it. It would literally transport me to wherever they were, you know, their lingo, talking about things in their area, their little inside jokes, their relationships, their friendships, their, you know, their combat sometimes the debates on culture all of it was awesome to see and, it, and just different ideas on how they present themselves in terms of manhood was all kind of important too in that regard the messy stuff and all the other stuff i wasn't really a fan of but i loved the podcast i did really did so when they all fell out or when joe you know did what joe does and basically turned people around him against him it just turned me off the entire pod and because joe Biden's an you know an integral part of the pod and a really loud voice it's just hard to listen to him again knowing how he treats his friends you know what i mean it was just like okay i can't fuck with this especially at the time when i was listening to the podcast joe Biden was really on this kind of creators creator thing championing the creators championing people coming up and stuff talking about empowering people to know their to know their value um you know to fight for something to fight for their worth and whatnot um literacy and contracts all this sort of stuff and at the heart of it the breakup between Rory and Moore and Joe was essentially centered around money and ownership and feeling valued and all that sort of stuff. So again, we don't know the exact details because it's all kind of messy, but that was kind of, kind of the genesis of the issue that they had and they eventually broke up. So it's kind of hard to see that one person that you looked at and thought, oh, you're championing this stuff and then you end up treating your friends like crap. It's just difficult. So I haven't listened to it, a full episode of the Joe Butter podcast ever since they broke up. Like that last one where Joe's ranting at the empty chair, that's the last time that I listened to a full episode i haven't listened to a single one since but i see clips and stuff around and of course joe Biden's like an you know is an expert like you know elite world champion champions league level content creator and just voice in general so even if you don't listen to his podcast you'll hear what he has to say because he always goes viral so one of the comments that he made was regarding logic joe Biden and logic have got like a long-standing beef simply because joe Biden thinks logic sucks right he doesn't rate him as a rapper doesn't appreciate him logic obviously didn't react too well to somebody saying he's terrible if somebody so especially somebody prominent who's very well known and respected in the industry took it didn't take it too well and they've had a kind of a going on back and forth logic on his own side has kind of you know flirted with retirement and stuff and you know his place in hip hop and you know the the kind of conversation around his ethnicity with him being biracial and all this sort of stuff whatever it's messy but still um he's got his he's got his fan base Joe Biden's got his recently Joe Logic decided to flip into a cover of a really you know legendary Ice Ice Cube track a, a track that I think has got a special place in every people's hearts and because Logic isn't the most well liked person in hip hop hip hop which you cap with the capital H's people didn't take to it too kindly. But Joe Biden in particular was really offended by Logic's rendition of Ice Cube's Today Was A Good Day that he went on his podcast and said the following. Like, this is how badly he took it. Like, he was really offended that Logic did this cover and he told him essentially that he needs to quit rapping and join him in retirement. So here's Joe Budden talking about it now on his podcast. Logic. <laughs> you know, Logic. I hate to continue to make a career at your expense. I don't hate it, actually. <laughs> I'm glad that I have a little list of you that I get to. <laughs> That's horrible to say. One day I'm going to grow up. Logic, I beg of you. I'm pleading with you. Please join me in retirement. Never step near a recording device again. Throw your phone in the ocean. Be allergic to microphones. Promise your fans nothing. Don't go to the studio ever again. You are the worst, yo. yo. You are really, really bad. And then when we think he can't get any worse, you have the bright idea of doing an ice cube flip. No. So yeah, so clearly he didn't like it. A little clip of the ice cube clip. Just waking up in the morning, gotta thank God. I don't know, but today seems kind of odd No barking from the dog, no smalls Mama cooked a breakfast with no heart Now, maybe I'm in the minority here And again, I'm not the biggest Logic fan People say it's corny, whatever it may be but I don't think this track warrants the reaction from Joe Budden. I know maybe it's more to do with the tr original track, 
with ice cubes today was a good day being what it is and what it means to culture maybe it's the fact that someone covered it that's a real offense people are like no this is sacred you can't just be covered it's like going to cover a lauren hill record if you're an r&b artist nowadays you know i mean you're going to get booed out of the room regardless of who you are but i don't think it's as bad as he's trying to make it seem as in my opinion you know like it's a bit corny it's a bit lame it probably didn't need to be shared <laughs> that's what you said but now it has been shared is it really the height of like rubbish art is it really the the thing that's going to uh tell people that you know the art form or art you know hip-hop in general is on its last legs and these kids don't know what they're doing and they're not respecting the craft and blah 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 does it warrant that i don't think so personally it really i don't think warrants that but i think what's happening here for me the reaction or the feeling that i get from this is as follows I just get the feeling with Joe Budden, especially being a fan of his and kind of seeing how he's kind of, you know, navigated this industry and, you know, being somewhat familiar with his old music, but never really a fan of his music. I kind of was a fan of the guy's podcast and him as a personality as opposed to the music. But from the stuff that I have heard of him or the music, it's not the greatest, right? He's known for his classic or hit record, Pump It Up, which is essentially, you can say, the corniest record of all time. It's always kind of played in jest. It's sort of like the, I think Pump Me Up is, sorry, uh, <laughs> pump me up <laughs> is probably like the black version of Rick Rolled, right? Um, it's the black version of that. It's like people play it just to kind of laugh at it. It's not really played as like, oh, this is a slapper. It's kind of bl played in sort of like irony in the kind of way. And I, what I feel like is happening with Joe Budden is that I feel like he's suffering from like this thing where he when he was coming up in hip-hop it wasn't cool to be corny or you couldn't navigate the industry and be successful being corny and corny not just being lame i guess corny just like embracing who you actually are and not trying to kind of play up to this idea of being some sort of fug or a gangster or whatnot and just being okay in your kind of skin i think it was kind of looked down upon and obviously you know you had to kind of act a certain way and it makes sense to me because there's this famous story that Joe Budden shares of why he hates Tyler, the creator. And he hates Tyler, the creator, because I think one time Joe was performing, I think I like the Roots Picnic or something, one of these kind of festival, hip hop festivals. And they booked um, Odd Future. This was when they first blew up, when Tyler, the creator used to like draw all over his vans and stuff. Right. And cut off his flipping chinos and El Sweatshirt was around. And they were going crazy. They'd go to festivals and just be running around acting like kids and just, you know, being brats. And I guess Joe Budden must have interacted with them behind the scenes or in the green room or behind whatever it may be and just didn't like their vibe and kind of, you know, was kind of sworn off at them ever since. But I also think part of me, in that moment, when you saw Tyler, when you saw Earl, when you saw Jasper, um, when you saw, you know, um, Taka and all these kind of guys being unapolog unapologetically, unapologetically themselves, black kids kind of, you know, just doing what they're doing. It kind of maybe irked him that he was never given that grace and that ability to kind of be who he wanted to be, like super emotional, you know, involved in women's business, really messy kind of rapper type of guy. And then later on in life, someone like a Drake essentially um, used his same kind of blueprint, his same kind of as approach to music and using it like as like an open diary, very therapeutic level and became one of the biggest stars in the world. So even Joe Budden's weird relationship with Drake is somewhat explainable in that regard. So I think that's what's going on here. I think Drake just sees logic and thinks hold on first of all logic is a terrible rapper compared to joe budden but he's able to survive and thrive in music despite making very you know what you'd say crappy songs and joe was never given that grace like he made one really bad commercial corny song and his whole discography has been dismissed because of that one song right pump it up basically you know personifies joe budden but he's got a whole slew of other records that he's done that maybe represent him much better than pump it up do but people just keep looking at that and don't look at the other stuff so i think that's where that kind of hate comes from when it sort of comes to logic is that aspect of it is like he's really terrible compared to him and he gets the ability to make terrible music and still thrive because nowadays you know some kids just identify with logic's journey they like what he says they grew up on him whatever it may be don't question the fans they like him they like what he puts out and it is what it is but i generally don't think that ice cube cover was that bad to warrant somebody saying to you go into retirement it maybe would warrant saying hey don't ever release something like this again don't cover a legendary track like this again but does it re require retirement i don't think so but then again joe budden was retired by the industry he didn't retire willingly Obviously, the podcast helped to kind of soften the blow, but the industry basically retired him by kind of reminding him every time that, you know, you're not selling records, you're not selling out certain places, venues and whatnot. And, you know, the, I remember uh, I remember Marl from Rory Marl saying once, like a really cutting remark, like, you know, 
the only time he really became successful, Joe Budden, and he actually was selling out places was because of the podcast. He never got that kind of love or depreciation when he was an artist, even people he spoke to. Like, you know, because his podcast became a real cultural touch point, certain artists that would have never spoken to Joe before were now speaking to him because he had a really popping podcast that could kind of elevate your career and whatnot. So that whole kind of plays into it. So I saw this, I was like, you know what, this is all a bit unfair. And I think they're kind of stepping on, you know, um, logic just because for the most part he just feels like you know he couldn't get away with what logic did when he was coming up in the industry that's just my general opinion on that one 